He was the daughters of Tzlafchad. Tzlafchad, the Gemara says, was somebody who after the first Shabbos, where the rules of Shabbos were set, he went and he gathered wood, and he was killed for that. And his daughters come to Moshe Rabbeinu and they ask, we also want to have property, Loma Nigara. Why won't the inheritance go down to us? And the Ishbitzah asks, why did this question have to go all the way up to Moshe Rabbeinu? Couldn't have been resolved by lower level Dayanim, lower level judges. And there's a secret here. Tzlovchad was somebody who did something wrong with a positive intent. He wanted to connect people to the beauty of Shabbos and he knew he was going to become a model of sacrifice for it. But ultimately he desecrated Shabbos. And this question went to Moshe Rabbeinu because Moshe Rabbeinu was Shabbos. He was Yismach Moshe B'mat Nas Chelkoi. Until that question went up to Hashem and Hashem ultimately testified and He said, you know, even though when people do things that are wrong, but if their intent is Hashem Shemayim, they're still going to suffer the consequences. But ultimately in the world, a new understanding of the depth of Shabbos is going to emerge. Let's realize that whenever we see things that aren't the way they should be, there's always a positive spark in it. That if we tune into that spark, we could elevate, we could connect, we could reach higher levels today.